We at The Countdown love the game of Rocket League, and now that it's free to play, tons of new players have joined in on the action. If you want to give it a try, but you're worried about competing with other players that have been there from the beginning, we're here to help. Now don't get me wrong, it's a pretty straightforward game to pick up and play, but with a couple of essential tips and tricks, you'll quickly find yourself competing with the veterans. That's why on today's episode of The Countdown, we have six pro tips for new Rocket League players. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for all of the best news and lists in gaming. Now let's get into it. Number six, seriously, do the tutorial. It might sound redundant at this point, but before you hop into a competitive game of Rocket League, check out the tutorials. We know they can be boring in some games, but Rocket League's tutorials actually provide a lot of crucial info and practice that will help you better understand how to play the game. There are shot setups that will help you learn how to attack a ball in the air and the best ways to go about trying to score a goal. There are defensive tutorials as well, which will show you a lot about blocking shots and how to turn things around when the opposing team is on your side of the field. If you're brand new to the game, there are some more basic tutorials regarding movement and controls as well. Number 5. Patience is a Virtue Rocket League is a high-intensity game and scoring a goal can certainly give you a satisfying rush of adrenaline. That being said, if you spend the entire game holding down boost and ball chasing, you're not going to have much success. Make sure to watch where the ball is going, pay attention to where your teammates are at, and always keep in mind the overall positioning of players on the field. If you learn when the right time is to strike, you'll find yourself scoring much more often than if you simply try to go for the goal every time. Have some patience, pass the ball to your teammates, and get the hang of things. Number 4. Learn to Rotate Positioning and rotation is one of the most important things to keep in mind while playing Rocket League. If you're on the offensive, make sure that you always have at least one teammate sitting back towards the halfway line to react if the ball is suddenly hit in the other direction. If everyone rushes the goal trying to score, the other team might quickly sneak the ball past you and get a wide open goal. On the same note, if you're driving towards the goal, make sure that you're doing your best to open yourself up for a pass if your teammate finds themselves in trouble. Find a good rotation of different spots in the field where you can contribute the best and stick with them. And if a shot opens up for your teammate at the back and they go for it, take their place on defense. A good rotation strategy is key to winning against a good opposing team. Number 3. Adjust Your Settings Just like most competitive games, finding the settings that fit your style to play the best can be a serious difference maker. For starters, you're definitely going to want to turn off cam shake, which will stop the camera from moving to simulate the high-speed intensity of the game. You're definitely going to want to adjust your FOV slider too. Expanding your field of view will make other players appear smaller on the screen, but it will also allow you to see more more of the action at once. For reference, most pros use the max FOV. Play around with it a little bit and find what works best for you. Number 2. Find Teammates You can be the best Rocket League player in the world, but if your teammates aren't on the same page, there's a good chance you might still struggle. Communication is always key, so put on a headset and play with some friends if you're able. When you play with the same players over time, you can get used to their tendencies, strengths, and weaknesses. Soon you'll be able to get a sense for when your teammates will be open, or when they're going to need help. Trust your teammates when they have the ball and put yourself in a position to get open for a pass or drop back and play defense. Stay aware of everyone's position so you don't bunch up and open up a lane for your opponents to score. It may take some time to get used to, but the more you play with your teammates, the better team you'll become, and the more wins you'll be able to capture. Number 1. Practice, practice, practice. The more you play Rocket League, the more comfortable you'll get going for balls, but make sure you're paying attention. The game can involve some high-intensity, fast action where the ball will completely fly across the map, and you're going to want to know how to react when that happens. We can't stress this enough. Pay attention to the physics of the game. Get used to how the ball reacts when a car hits it, or what way it tends to bounce when it hits the wall. Take note of the different speeds and angles that work best for lining up aerial hits, and find out what playstyle works best for you. Rocket League's training mode has tons of different setups and scenarios for practicing the game's physics. We highly recommend using them. Spend 30 to 60 minutes a day practicing a new skill. Once you get the basics of something like an aerial or power shot down, you'll add a whole new threat to your Rocket League arsenal. If you're constantly building up fundamental and technical skills, you'll find yourself wrecking plat players in no time. And that covers our list of 6 tips for starting out in Rocket League. What is your favorite Rocket League car? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for more of the best news and lists in gaming. As always, thanks for watching.